are joining me on a new day on the Christmas road show. And I'm not gonna lie to you, I haven't been sleeping well. The pop top isn't nearly as warm as I would hope even with the diesel heater. Now last night I found a blanket in the van, a blanket that's definitely not a dog blanket. So with this woolen blanket, it was a little bit warmer. But then as you can tell, where I am parked, I am basically in a wind turbine. So the pop top was shaking all night long, the van was shaking, so I am still craving a good night's sleep. But the reason I chose this campsite, and it's a beautiful campsite, A, it was open because a lot of them are closed even though they say they're open all year round. I found it on park for night. The reason I chose it is it has full shower facilities. I'm three or four days in and I've got that man stank. All right, I'm gonna get my ablutions done, go back to the van, make myself a quick road coffee, and then we are gonna to head to the next person on the Christmas Roadshow list. You're well out of order. So I genuinely am quite heartbroken that I broke my camera yesterday. It's the, the frame on it is all I'll put a picture over the top of it, but I am genuinely upset about it. So I'm just looking through potential collaborations as a YouTuber. I can review a set of binoculars that are about $19.99. I've got rose gold coat hangers that I could in fact review. What else have I got? One car radio, power station from a company called FF. That sounds valid, that sounds good. And I've even been offered one of those 100 pound don't know what's in it from Team U box unboxing. No, I don't think any of that's gonna fly. Oh, this might. As a van lifer, if you're watching this vlog, would you be interested in a little hairdryer like that if I was to collaborate with such a company? <laughs> I just drove round a corner and peeking through the bushes was basically a cliff edge. I need to turn left pretty soon, otherwise I'm totally gonna miss it. I can see through the hedges. You guys probably can't. I think it's the River Wye. But that cliff edge, and I know some people's houses are like literally on the edge of that. They've probably got a fantastic view. There's a little left turn there, let's see. There is a cliff over there and a river down there and I just can't get to it going that way. I think it's just gonna get me more and more into the thicket. So this mission failed. There is no such thing as out of bounds. Let's bring this bad boy home before I break another piece of expensive equipment because it is windy and I've never done this before, but I literally cannot see where I started. I'm not a very good drone operator. I usually just wait until I can hear it and bring it in. Ah, I could have just waited and I would have driven over a bridge that would have revealed all of that. Now, for the greatest shocker of them all. Now then, I've asked Santa Claus for a mountain bike this year for Christmas, and she reached out to me and said there's a good chance that I could get one. So, we're now looking for a way to incorporate a mountain bike into the Volkswagen Transporter setup. We are, of course, at Avano, Avano, Avano. Ho, 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 Merry Christmas, everybody. If you guys have seen any of my videos, you will know that I am the Avano's biggest fan. So I have got the switch narrow, which allows me to have this gap on this side, turns into a full flatbed with bulkhead. Now, the option to have your logo CNC'd into that bulkhead has always been available and I opted as no because I didn't really like my previous logo. It was nice enough, but when it come to branding, it wasn't my favorite thing. Now we're all about the UAO. Check this out. 
So I am here today to have that little bad boy installed. Hashtag brand everything. And also I am having a second table fitted. So I've got one of these tables here that fit to the pillar. So when you open the door, you can wind that table out, make coffee just like I did this morning. Here is the obligatory Instagram post from this morning. But I am now opting to have one on the right hand side. Ultimately best if you've got driver's side sliding doors, which is the Californias, the Oceans or twin sliders. I'm opting for it to be over there because I have a little hack and I think that's going to work great for my setup. I will show you that back at camp later. Santa Claus once again is bringing me a mountain bike. Avano have the perfect solution for using this switch for housing your mountain bike. Once again, having this in my van makes my van what I'm calling the most versatile van out there. I use it for the school run. I use it for work as a plumber. I use this thing every day in different variations. At the moment, I'm on this road trip where I've been using it for camping and it has done so well. So can we have one of those bike bars? While Josh is fitting those little brackets, and I will show you those, just wanna let you guys know that a lot of the things I'm here for today can in fact be posted out. This, I could have probably even paid a courier to have that sent to me, but I had enough reasons to come and visit with all that was going on. And I wanted a full demonstration of how this bike bar is fitted. Let's be honest, I just want an excuse to come down here and see the guys at Ivano because these guys, they're the nicest in the business. Bumped into these guys at Busfest and whether or not they wanted me to or not, I was sat there for a couple of hours having a good laugh and a good drink with them. So definitely worth checking their stuff out. I think it's the OG. I think it is the best stuff. A lot of these accessories, like I say, can be sent out. Let's go back in and see how he's getting on. Cannot hold him back. He is now changing the bulkhead or the bulkhead panel, which is going to then become the bulkhead. Quick glance at this before he comes over and shows me. This is the bike bar in its position now. So move the front wheel. The forks will sit down in there like every other bike mount in the world. That's gonna sit there. The bike is gonna sail itself through there and you can in fact still open the drawer and access it. Still got access to that drawer, right, Josh? Access, generous size drawer with the bike on. Generous size drawer with the bike on. Now, chances are, if you are out mountain biking, that kind of thing, that is then gonna be filled with biking paraphernalia anyway. So the bike will be the first thing to come out. And then we simply lift that little baby out and store that on the side of your tray once again making this the most versatile volkswagen transporter in the world right we are done guys check that out oh you can't see it there's a bike in the way look at it so much happier with that as a logo than i was the hexagon that i had from before but there it is it's the bike mount from avano please give us a quick demonstration josh the features are pretty self-explanatory one mountain bike on the narrow bar stores using the bike bar here as you can see, I've set it up quite, with quite a generous space up top. This so when I get my bike, because that's obviously your bike and your setup, I'll adjust that bar to best suit my height. Exactly that. So I imagine even you're probably on a bigger bike than us, but each set like this, you'll probably still have plenty of room like this. Excellent. But if for some reason you've got a smaller bike, lift the bar up higher, gain more draw height underneath still. So it's bigger items, as you can see, still a really good draw height there. Get full face helmets and things underneath. So I'll stick my front wheel in there, all of the bike paraphernalia, all of the cool gear. So in the long wheelbase, the bulkhead can remain up position so I can still camp and sit the other side, but the short wheelbase will probably be a little bit different. Yes, short wheelbase, because of the length of the majority of bikes these days, you, you will have to have it set up as the bed scenario. So you won't, you will lose the, um, the use of the combo seats in the back, but still a means of carrying two yeah. bikes if you've got an XL and having a user. Oh, so the X XL would be two bikes. Exactly, yeah. Sweet. Right, I've got a question for you. Sat at camp last night, had a quick look through your website, um, and I urge all of you guys to do that because they do more than just the switch or the narrow itself. Loads of accessories, like the table that I'm going to show you. Got two tables now and there's a reason for that. But I saw something that said, refer a friend. Yes, indeed. Can you talk me through that? Yeah, so refer a friend. It's basically a bit of a, a thank you for, for uh, like sharing the word. So if you go on our website, you can get a code. You get 5% off and as does your friend when they place an order via our website. All of the viewers are my friend. Can I offer all of them that 10% during December? 
Sorted. Put them on the spot there a little bit, but during December, UAO10 at checkout, and you will receive the full 10% off, and you're not giving any away to your friend. You can if you want, but you don't have to. UAO10 on anything at Avano at checkout during December. That's my Christmas gift to you. <laughs> right, mate, it is time for me to hit the road because I've still got to find a campsite for tonight and that is not as easy as you think it might be this time of year. Every but, day like today. I know, it's absolutely horrible. Before I go, please, would you mind wishing everybody a Merry Christmas? Yes, Merry Christmas from everyone here at Havana. I'm new to this vlogging thing, so I don't necessarily know how much I'm supposed to show you guys and if you guys are gonna get bored with all of this. But it struck me that last night, with no signal, I was totally bored out of my head. And I know that makes it sound like I'm a scroller and things like that, but when you can literally do nothing, not even Google or watch and a single thing that was a bit of a nightmare so in case that happens again tonight i've stopped a couple of miles out from where i'm supposed to be and i'm going to download a couple of films uh, and i can pick from that and they'll be on the ipad so regardless of signal i will at least have something to look at i think i found a pretty nice little park up it's hard standing it's gravel there's only about 16 plots very family run, you know, probably an old farm, probably, I don't know, assumptions, that um, has got a change of use. But looking over there, there's literally, I won't show you because there's nothing to see. And that is the point, there's no lights. So I wonder if I'm gonna get a bit of a view when I wake up in the morning. But I've got a bit of scran to cook. I wanna show you this table, but I do feel like having a bit of a shower to wash the day off. And that's once again, why I chose this very basic yet hopefully substantial campsite. Here we go. Why have I gone for a second table? Well, as I sit here in my setup, this works perfectly. Now, please remember, I am gonna have swivel seats there and that is going to open this area up massively and it's gonna change the whole ordeal no end. But having a table over there on the passenger side, apart from using it, from outside the vehicle and spinning it on the outside, lovely jubbly. When you're in the van, it's in the way. For me to slide out of this van, which you have to do every 20 minutes in a Volkswagen Transporter for one reason or another, it would be in the way. But now, for example, I can make an omelette here like I'm sat on the train, make my dinner, and if I need to, say, pop and get some water, it doesn't matter because I can still slide out and out the way I go. If that was all in the doorway there, with the fridge being here, it is a little bit awkward. I've also got to think about storing the second table because the first table stores in the location on the back of the Avano, cue the B-roll. So where am I going to store a second tabletop? Now here, this panel there on the camera probably looks like it's finished, well it's not. That's just carpet from the carpet that was carpeted over the walls of the van. So I look to install a thicker panel than you would probably usually use, like usually use just like three mil, and have that stowed away just like that down the side using the exact same clips that I've used on the back. When it's not being used, that is taking up no space whatsoever. Look at this. Um, lights. I love this world we're in. I love this world we're in that's full of nice people. I'm watching two friends of mine on YouTube. And as I'm sat there, Matt from Volkswagen Upgrades has just shared me in a story. Got no idea what it is, but this little ring that we're in, it's not a cult, I don't think, but it is just nice people, like-minded hobbies. Absolutely awesome. Go check out um, Chris Lones, by the way. He's a, he's a massive help, actually, believe it or not. So I just opened the sliding door, and you guys were stuck to the sliding door. So my already poorly camera has just had another bash. Oh, and by the way, I looked to do a bit to camera earlier for the tripod, but when my camera fell over, 
so worried about the camera, I left my tripod in some green lane in Aberystwyth, so nice. Shut up, you two. What's the difference between an omelette and scrambled egg? It's in quite a small pan, so I'm kind of, to make sure everything is lovely and cooked, kind of making sure that it's all touched the pan at some point. But I genuinely don't know the difference between scrambled egg and omelette. Or is it just the ingredients? Would you not ever usually put tomatoes, ham, and that kind of thing, and a bit of cheese in scrambled egg? Is that the difference? Because this is, while it looks lovely, I think it's gonna end up being scrambled egg with extra ingredients. I'm also holding back on the secret hack because I'm not quite ready to show that. So stay tuned on the Christmas Roadshow to see why one Avano table isn't quite enough. Geordie and a Scottish man making a YouTube video. Whatever next. Stay tuned for more on the Christmas Roadshow. Good night, guys. Bon appetit.